this modern day storm drain is located under a busy town in the north of England. The system was purpose built in the 1980s to cope with growing population and ever present flood risks, specifically for a 1 in 30 year storm. The system spans for over 3.5 miles until it reaches what's known as the plug hole. It then continues on for an unknown amount of distance in a concrete box construction. Concrete precast units were manufactured off-site and then fitted underground to cover the majority of the drain. The pipes are designed to handle heavy flows and resist wear from debris and chemicals. The RCP along its route ranges in height but is comfortable to walk along without stooping over the majority of its length. Spraycrete is commonly used when maintaining existing storm drains due to its versatility and strength. A downside to this is the majority of Grand Victorian brick built sewers will have been or will eventually be applied with the fast applying concrete, resulting in them being covered up, forever hiding away vast amounts of industrial heritage and replacing them with a form of underground brutalism. A sewage pipe running parallel throughout the majority of the system can be seen throughout various different places. This disappears and reappears throughout the system and makes itself known to the nose towards the end. The system takes various overflow water from different rivers and carries it underground to the outfall at the Manchester Shipping Canal. The outfall itself is a large rectangle concrete structure with numerous slim slots along its back wall, similar to a World War II style bunker. The bunker is quite deep, probably matching the canal in depth, and is home to all sorts of wildlife, including frogs, fish and lots of eels. During the 18th century, the Industrial Revolution was beginning to take shape. The population of most British towns was experiencing growth. This growth would lead to most cities to be faced with significant public health issues such as poor sanitation, overcrowding, and more specifically, inadequate waste disposal. The growing industrial workforce, which situated largely around the city's urban landscape, would necessitate the need for development of more systematic sewage systems. Prior to the early 1800s, before these systems became common infrastructure, most people would dispose of their waste via cesspits or privies. These were then disposed of into open air drains or gutters, which inevitably would lead to nearby rivers and watercourses. Around this time, rivers and watercourses around industrial urban areas were nothing more than open sewers. It was unsanitary common practices like these which would lead to the major public health problems, including frequent outbreaks of diseases such as cholera, dysentery and typhoid fever. The outbreaks of cholera were notably the worst. From 1831 to 66, at least four major outbreaks of the disease would occur across Britain resulting in over 1 million deaths. The Public Health Act of 1848 and subsequent legislation would result in the establishment of improved sewer systems and water treatment facilities across the UK. It was the responsibility of the Victorians, who were now seen as pioneers when it came to underground construction, to solve this problem. They were constructed of brick and clay in a distinctive egg U shape. The shape was designed to be self-cleansing and the design was considered to be a success. These systems would go relatively untouched apart from routine maintenance and repairs up until the 1940s. After World War II, most cities would begin to modernise their sewer systems to once again be able to cope with the increase in population and growing industrial demands. Older infrastructure, including combined sewers and open drains, would eventually struggle to cope with the increased runoff and pollution. As in the 1970s, Britain would once again undertake a significant expansion of its stormwater management infrastructure, including the construction of concrete storm drains. This period would mark a shift towards more durable and efficient solutions for managing surface water runoff 
and addressing the limitations of older systems. The grand Victorian systems hidden beneath our feet litter most towns and cities across the UK. They have stood the test of time, functioning as critical infrastructure for almost 200 years. They are slowly but surely being replaced over time with the modern day concrete equivalent.